This hive's doing really, really well. And you can just smell the honey, you can just smell the bees. Uh, I've been a beekeeper for five years and I have approximately 23 hives right now. And there's probably 40, 60,000 bees per hive. So close to a million bees. You know, Einstein said that once the bees are gone, man is gone. And 30%, over 30% of the, the food that we eat is responsible for the bees pollinating it. I was reading about colony collapse disorder and the diminishing numbers of bees and wanted to bring bees back into the world. I look to bring uh, the education of bees uh, to the people. Uh, educate them in a sense that, you know, not to be drastically afraid of the honeybee. Of course, the honeybee you know, does sting and unfortunately it dies after you, it stings you. They're a great barometer of nature and to build an awareness of them will increase our awareness of the environment. Mm -hmm. That typical day in a bee yard, I will get stung maybe five times. It's, it's not so terrible, you know. It's, you get used to it after a while. It's just part of uh, being a beekeeper. We were wearing a veil and we were using smoke to mask their communication to hide their pheromones or their attack pheromones on us. Uh, for the most part, they're docile. Please, if you see one flying around, don't uh, get scared or freak out. It's probably just after some of your pina colada or something like that. If, if the bees go, you know something is upsetting in the environment and something that um, dramatic to upset the, the the kill of every honeybee in the world, there's something definitely wrong with the environment. And with that occurrence, man would not be able to exist any longer.